weight on it. And we want to spread the weight over and the blocks would be... How do we keep it, so if we test the stringers, we put them on some pads, we put the weight, but how do you keep it from falling to the side? We're only gonna, we only need maybe three or four high, I think we figured, to get a weight, the weight we need. Three or four bricks high? If we put them all the way across, we're going to have quite a load on there, on the stringer. How are we going to... That's a David, I, I don't remember. So I think what we can do is, what if we put bricks and bricks, slid the, slid the stringer in between that so it doesn't fall to the side and just put a bunch of bricks on it. Is yeah, that a plan? Gonna, I mean, the, the bricks are six, feet, six, inches, six inches wide, right? Yeah. And so it's not going to be like they're going to tip off easily if you're only putting four or five bricks even on them tall. Yeah, but I'm saying the whole stringer, how do you hold it so it doesn't fall side to side? That's what I'm saying. We can just put in, well, oh, already, we can do... It's already four and a half inches wide. Yeah, but you got to stand it up on this. It's like we gotta, no, like we're this. We're just going like, to test the length of the stringer. We're not going to oh. take it apart and just use the piece. We're not going to put it up this way. Oh. Just, we just want to test the, the strength of the beam. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Yeah. Okay. We can produce a bunch of bricks just, for that. Yeah, we just need a few we'll do that in uh, five minutes. bricks to do that. Yeah, well, David uh, was talking about how many in... Okay, um, let's see. So about the soil here, can we take some of this? Let's see. Yeah. Um, can you put it, um, where were you looking at putting it? Well, I'm going to lay it over that corner down there. Yeah, a lot of it. Be a little bit right here. Wherever you, you want some of it, we can put it somewhere. Uh, let's see. Why don't you, uh, do you, that would be better here. Can you, um, for over there, do you need to raise it up? No, you no. Could, you're going to have quite a bit here to get rid of, though. You know, okay. Of more dirt. than you'll want for this, and more you want for those bricks. You know, 100 bricks, you don't take that much. It's more than 100. Yeah, it's going to take two, 300, two, I think, 300. when you count it. Yeah, but don't worry about it. Just put a, I would say, throw us a big, hey, throw a big pile right against the house. Right up, right up in here. Fill the hole. Uh, that could be our earth insulation for our little mud huts. How's that? How do you feel about that? Industry standard techniques at Factory Farm. <laughs> we can use um, we can Yeah, use let's go. For some other things that, okay, if it's right okay. Up here close, here's a story. We're, we're going to test the trusses, that the big stringers that are about 50. How, how wide are they all together? How wide? Oh. They're like 50 feet total. Okay, look at the documentation, but we're going to take some of this soil we're excavating here. We're going to need to press some bricks to actually test the load-bearing strength of the, the actual stringer. So we're going to take the about 30 and 20 foot pieces, put them on supports and lay three bricks on top of them or so over the whole length, so probably like two or three hundred bricks and see how much load-bearing capacity they have. We have some fine soil for future CEB testing right here. Is going to come together.